Hi everyone, here's just a quick video to help you get the most out of your dashboards, making them look good with some backgrounds and making sure that our colours and our text works really well. So here's a very simple dashboard, I've just added a couple of data labels. What we're going to do is we're going to add a background image. So I've created a background image in a tool like Canva or you might use um, PowerPoint or if you've got other tools, things like Photoshop are really good for that as well. So I'm going to press this option to select a background image as we've got here and I add that onto my dashboard. So I can see here that I've overlaid where I want things. I might start putting some charts here and then I often use data labels to get some points across. So let's say for example I was looking at a specific category um, and some descriptors that were in there like I've got in my data label and I want to just see the number result that we've got there. So this data label has been set up for me to do that. If I right click and edit it I've got the categories and descriptors that I want selected. So the first thing I could do here, because I don't need to know that it's my category two and my descriptor two, I know that I'm gonna put it in this box, so I just need to see the number. So firstly, I choose hide text, then I press tick. If I now hold the Alt key and click and drag to resize this, I could go and put this inside this box here. Now, Often what people will do is right click this and make it transparent, okay, which is fine and looks okay. But you'll notice that around the text just looks a little bit funny because we've got basically a black background and the white text, although we're going on to this green part. So what you can do is you can right click and edit this label. And now rather than having it transparent, still if you have it transparent, this setting makes more sense anyway. If you make the background colour be the same as this one, then it will sharpen up that text. So you can select the background colour, and then you've got this eyedropper tool here. So you click on this one, you hover your mouse over the area that you want to match up with the colour, and then you press the space bar when it links in. Okay. On my screen, my zoom level is different, so this doesn't actually work for me. But what I can do is I've saved the colours I've got in there. So I know it's this one here, I can press tick and we're in. Now you'll see that the text looks a lot sharper as we go in there and we can do a tick there. So again, this one, I'm gonna edit it, hide the text. I'm gonna move this one up to, for example, here, sit it in there, right click to edit this change the background colour, and again I could use the eyedropper, so you click it, you hover your mouse over the area of the colour, then you press spacebar and it will set it, or if you've got your colours saved down here you can choose them. So you can use things like hexadecimal colours and everything if you want to be really specific and you know what they are as well. So we tick that, and then we can see that everything just looks a little bit sharper. Okay, so just a little tip and hopefully that helps you make some nice looking dashboards. Enjoy!